Okay, so this is another question for all, all four men on the panel. Okay, what are the key signs that you give a woman that just don't get or understand that you're not interested? Yeah. Say what? Yeah. Like you ain't into them. That you're not into them? That you're not into them. I mean, okay, okay, let me give you an example. She cute, she fun, but you know, you still kind of hang out with her, but she don't like her like that. So what, what, what do you do? Honestly. She's not going to hear from me. I mean, it's just that simple. I mean, depending on the relationship that I have, depending on how open she can be, I will tell her, you know, that it's not going in that direction that you may want her to go into. I've said Really? That. Yes. You said that? Yes, I And what's she saying? What could she say? Her mouth was on the floor. I mean, because, again, if it boils down to playing games, and, and, most, and most women may assume that men play games, yeah. can you take the truth when it's coming to you as yes. well? Yes, I feel you on that. So you just don't stop calling. You just tell her we just gonna be friends. Is that cool with you? To be I'm... honest, it's worked both ways. Okay. Uh, Lenny, we friends still. But what about you, boo? Me? <laughs> I think I was, well, I've, I've, I've had this conversation. Um, you I, have? Yeah. So what do you say? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to sleep with all my friends. So there are some friends. So and they usually get that. <laughs> like there are certain people who are, who are just going to be friends, and you can't just go around sleeping with all your friends. And I think people understand that. But what if it already happened and you're not oh, interested? Oh, well, that's a different thing. That's what I'm saying. What if it already happened and it was just, it was cool for a second, and now you're just not interested? How do you have that conversation? What is the key sign? that you're not interested anymore. I think you just, you tell them. I don't understand why conversation is not the, the first, it may not be the easiest thing, but I think it's the best thing. You just tell them, I, this isn't gonna work that way. That way. You've said that. Oh, you, yeah. Really I mean, lying like hell, man. I'm just saying it. No, no, just like, or, or, you know, you're not necessarily as available. Meaning you stop calling, you just stop calling out the blue. No, say, I Can you go some movies, boo, I'm unavailable, I'm booked. No, That's what you're I think, I think it's best to have this conversation directly, say it to him. It's I not think. the easiest, but it's the best way. There's no miscommunication, or you thought this, you said that, if you say it flat out, and let them get their honest opinion on how they feel. I'm sorry, that's what it is. Well, I feel bad, I, I, you on your own down there. <laughs> Swimming out here by myself. I'm sorry, brother. Did you ask for it? I'm glad I'm sitting over here. You asked for this, TJ. What, 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 what do you think the best sign is? If you already started kicking it with the girl, right? How do you let her know that? Okay, the the onus, yes, can be on the brother sometimes, but ladies, yes. The onus is on you. You know for two weeks it was like this, and all of a sudden this week it's like this. Take right. the sign. Right. I mean, take the sign. Right. We're we going to give it to you. If we are interested, if we want to see you, we're going to make the effort. And you know what that feels like. When it stops feeling like that, boom, don't move on to the next thing. And, and we like see you, it too often. And again, That's why he married, though. I'm in. But again, I got female friends. I talk about yeah. that. We have to talk about that later. So, what about you, Eric? Uh, I agree. I think a lot of people make the mistake of meeting somebody and trying to mold them and make them into who they want them to be. Right, right, as, right. As opposed to who they've been being the whole time. So, when somebody shows you what their intentions are, believe them. Y'all ain't all the way clear, though, all the time. But, okay, I'll take that. So, we're going to take some... Um, Questions from the audience. I'm sure y'all burning up in y'all seat. What you got for me, uh, Andrea? Hello. What? Oh, hey, boo. Hey. Thank you. Names, names. Okay, what is your name? My name is Nijera, and I'm from Queens. I just came in there. I relate 
Tamar. Let's see this girl. Okay, so I have a question regarding keeping men happy. There was a book by a recent celebrity that says if you keep a man's stomach full and his penis empty, then he will be <laughs> Keep going, I'm listening, you got my attention. <laughs> Or is there more to a healthy relationship than that? Good question. I, I, well, I, I will repeat it for people who didn't hear it. She said if you keep a man's belly full and his penis empty, is that enough for a... For a it's a great a start. Is that enough for a healthy relationship? I, 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 will, I will say, like, men, we are like, simple, stupid creatures, first of all. and and. and I think initially yes, but if you're if you or that man is interested in anything more, no, that's not enough, you know. But it, that that can sustain a relationship for a long time. But <laughs> but if, again, if you're interested, you or that man are interested in anything deeper, no, it's not enough. What about you, TJ? You married? <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, from the beginning of my relationship with my wife. Um, she, she only did one out of the two of those things you mentioned. <laughs> um, and she can't cook, okay? It always, and again, you talked about a book, and we're always looking for the, the simplest thing. It's, it's just not that simple. Um, there's got to be a whole lot more. And, and frankly, you have to grow together. I mean, I've been in relationships where, you know, we, we're in the same place now, but now we're growing in two different directions. Mm -hmm. And it, yeah, the food and the bedroom is not going to sustain you in those times. You got to have somebody that's going to be with you when you go through the fire yes, and you go through the hell. It ain't no home cooking that's gonna be good enough when I lose my job. Ain't no sex gonna be good enough to make me feel better when I lose a family member. Wow. I need some more than those two things. That's that married man who's been through that love and war. <laughs> you better preach, boy. He is. What about you? Okay, do you have another question? Did, oh, did you want to answer that, Eric? Did I want to? Oh, ain't nothing else to say, My baby. man testifying yeah. up here. I ain't following that. <laughs> okay, okay, um, okay, what about you, Tony? Your name? Kelly from Philadelphia. I just have, um, when we were talking about the female friends, what if it was split? You guys have a problem when we have Boom. male friends. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Eric, you want it? You want it? Yeah, I think, uh, I think the best relationships are the ones that are honest and uh, kind of reciprocal in Not those kind of standards. So. <laughs> Y'all don't believe us? So it's cool on a Wednesday afternoon to go out to lunch, for your wife to go out to lunch with her, her homeboy. Absolutely. That's that cool. Has, has happened many, many times. One of, the most, one of the most sexiest things is, is being secure in your relationship. Yeah, but you gotta be secure and smart at the same time. She's shaking her head. She's shaking her head. You know, here's the thing about that. You don't want to hold on to somebody who's going to be cheating. I mean, if they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to hold on and fight every show up at that, the club, make sure they're I'm not cheating saying. on you. You don't want to do that. But you know, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't put my two cents in. Yeah, I just, I just have a problem, right, with married men and married women having single friends. What's that about, Tamar? Well, because, okay, where are, where, where, what's the conversation? They're still human beings. Where, where, where are we friends? We're not in the same place in our lives. You looking for a man? So. She's sitting across the table. I would obviously a good man if you got a wife. So I'm trying to figure out on. what is she trying to fit. What's the question? I have a question for you, Tavon, because you're a married woman. Right. The bottom line. Let's say you you knew a person and Vince knew a person for years, like 10, 15 years. Now you guys got married, right? 
So are you telling me now you're supposed to dead that relationship that you've had yes. a friendship with? Wow. Yes. Yes. What? Yes. Even if, and even if. And let me tell you why. Why? Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, and wait. <laughs> years and they grew up together right okay that's cool but <laughs> why she ain't got a man so get the, like, get the like, question what's the conversation at this like you know since like, like I don't know I'm even if you met her so even, if you, even if you met her prior to you guys getting married and you were cool with her <laughs> what you mean by cool with her you accepted, you accepted her as his friend, and she became your friend, just like the story that TJ just told. <laughs> I guess not. Okay. I'm a different kind of chick. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't know. I have to think about that. And what's your question? I got my own fan club. Um, married for about, we've been married for like 12 years. Woo! And Congratulations. Don't clap just yet. Whoa. to a point in their lives where enough is enough. To where I done had it all, I done spanked it all, I done seen it all. When is it enough? If, well, well Aaron. So y'all separated because he keep cheating? Is that what you're saying? That's when he I'm... ends up in paternity court with me, that's when he gonna have enough. Huh. Um, well, Aaron. Sorry to hear that, but I, I think I'm hearing you correctly, and I know this is, I mean, we're all family in here, but this is uh, not probably the, the ideal place for you to air that stuff out, but you sound like you're being pretty personal about it. But to be real, it sounds like um, he can't stop some of the philandering, or, or his eye wanders. Is that fair to say, at least? Yeah. Um, and you're not going to say a cheater. <laughs> you're, you're not going to like this, Andrew.